hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome so if there's one thing i can say i am glad i achieved in my hair journey in 2023 Ooh, can you see that anyways being able to wear my hair out like this without any extensions coming from having the relaxed hair i didn't enjoy packing my hair down because I, I felt like my hair was not full enough to give me the look i wanted so a bit of background on how i got here so i had to style my hair like this for an event and after the event i had to take out the extensions but didn't want to lose um but didn't want to lose the gel i had in my hair by washing it off so i decided to do a low bone that's why in this video i won't be showing the hairstyle from scratch so this video will be in two parts um though the main idea is showing you how to maintain this hair for weeks part one will show you how to refresh from like say a tuesday to friday while part two will show you how to refresh say during the weekend or on a monday morning so get your popcorn and sit tight So assuming this is a Tuesday morning, what I would typically do because I would normally, I would always sleep with my scarf on so I would just sit in front of my mirror, take out my scarf and begin the refreshing process and trust me, it doesn't even take time at all. For the items I use, there's the water can, eco styling gel, got to be gel, a tooth sized brush, so fine gel, parting comb, then man brush, open teeth comb, elastic bands, hair ribbon and a silk scarf. So back to assuming it's a Tuesday morning, there would be my my ribbon will still be on my hair, so I'll just take it off. Then I'm applying water to awaken and losing the gel already in my hair, and I'll brush it with the Demman brush. There was already an elastic band in my hair, so I just added the hair ribbon. So here's how, how one of the ways I do my baby hairs and for this um, baby hairstyle, I'll be using the so fine gel for it. For me, baby hairs don't have to be too dramatic. So it's just, I just like to do a bit, I don't know if you can call this a bit sharp, but yeah, this is how I do it. I go into it with a bit of gel first, like bring out the amount of hair I intend to use for the baby hairs before I go into the, you know, the soup soup guys i'm telling you when i did this hair and like it started off as a joke because my whole intention was that oh okay i would like i said i had an event and that event was for friday so my intention was that after that friday like weekend i'll just do the whole low bond thing then maybe on monday i would find another extension that's not so dramatic and add at the tip then i was done refreshing this hair that monday and i looked in the mirror and i'm like ah this thing doesn't even look that bad and that's how i ended up carrying this hair for almost three weeks baby hair done so i'm just laying it down with this scarf now you can use a hair dryer on it after you've worn your scarf but like to make it dry hard and dry faster but because i was doing a second um how to refresh style i use the hair dryer after the second refreshing style because if it get if it dries hard it will be hard to like losing all those gel going into the second method i would unravel the entire hair you know take out the ribbon take out the elastic band remember by treating this hair like it's a monday morning you know so we need to put back some gel make it like wet put back all that gel that we've been loosening throughout the week you know so i'm just combing it out to ensure there are no bumps in the hair because we've not this hair has not been combed for a whole week so putting back the gel using my eco styling gel so I'm just going to be putting a generous amount of gel into the hair as you see me apply hair. Just very straightforward. Just no, no very organized process. You know, just put in gel as much as you can. Be generous with that gel because this is going to last you for the next five days. Well, that's the intention. So I'll be cleaning up the pattern also to make it look, you know, clean and flat. I'll be clean and whatever. <laughs> so combing the hair out again. So now I'm brushing it flat with my denman brush there's a lot of pressure in here you know because this is this brush is where or is what does all that magic so you see how clean my baby my hair is looking right now looking is it not it's not looking clean it's not looking clean i'm sure it is so i'm putting back the elastic band and preparing to you know do our baby hairs i'm just admiring how clean this hairstyle is making my face look like can you see well going into um the baby hairs i'll be using my got to be gel 
for stronger hold and adding some extra to the baby hair you know some extra soup soup that thing by the ear you get me yeah i didn't do that one before so i'll be doing that one here and showing you guys how i do it when i did this hair i got so many nice comments like oh you're glowing you look different in a nice way you know many other comments i don't even remember and it just got me so excited considering that i was really skeptical about whether i would enjoy carrying my hair like this you know well it turned out to be really nice i would really um i don't know should i say i'm encouraged i don't want to do aspire to perspire now but well um maybe i can motivate i would also motivate somebody to also try out something like this it's very simple and classy and bougie and trust me you can wear this you can carry this hairstyle to anywhere to a wedding to an a corporate event to you know for we nigerian self that like to wear gilly you know that our head gear you can even do your baby hairs like this and wear a gilly over it so it was really it was really nice really cool simple and bougie and classy so we're at the scarf stage again so tying this hair down with a scarf then i'm going to go in with my hair dryer guys please allow me apologize at this point for shooting this video in portraits and not landscape you know i know like youtube we do landscape and all of that but when i was shooting this video the intention was for it to be an instagram reel but after i had um i was done shooting i saw how long it was i'm like no i gotta share i have to share with my youtube youtube family members also so i sincerely apologize but i hope you're also you're still able to enjoy the video regardless thank you when drying you would want to feel the heat go through the scarf and enter the hair but just be careful because this thing can burn your scarf this has this my hair dryer has burnt my scarf before so just be careful not to focus too much on one place for a long time so you don't burn your scarf in the process of trying to feel the heat go through the scarf you just burn your hair and we're almost done with this video guys see it's not a lot of stress after all i hope i am able to inspire someone to wear their own hair like this someday do let me in the, know in the comment section and if you were if you encountered any struggles as is our tradition please like this video i'm sure you enjoyed it share comment and subscribe i'll really appreciate it and i'll see you in my next one compliments of the season once again and i wish you and yours a very prosperous new year bye